What's up guys, Bjorn here. I hope you're all doing great. I wish you a happy new year. Today we're taking a look at the Survival Hunter tier set for 9.2. So it's going to be a very fun video. I have some nice 9.2 PTR footage here for you guys. And I'm going to go through just what impact the 9.2 tier set is really going to have for the Survival Hunter. So we're going to take a look at the gameplay impact, uh, talent, stats, uh, what you can expect to see from it in terms of uh, numbers, damage output everything you can think of basically so i hope you will enjoy the video if you did i really encourage you to leave a like down below and maybe also consider subscribing that would really help me out so thanks in advance guys now let's get straight into the video first we gotta figure out what the tier set actually does right so let's read the two piece here kill command resets has a 40 percent chance to make your next wildfire bomb incur no cooldown so you actually have to have a charge of wildfire bomb in the first place to use this free char charge but it is actually a free use nonetheless and it will obviously greatly impact the aoe capabilities of survival hunter because frankly the only thing that limits us in aoe right now is the wildfire bomb cooldown and then we have the four piece which is even more disgusting wildfire bomb uh, explosion damage is increased by 30% and 80% on the two priest procs. So just a flat 30% buff to wildfire bomb damage is honestly still really really strong just as it is uh, on your current AOE survival hunter build. But with the increase to 80% on the procs it's gonna do so 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 much damage especially if you can chain those procs back to back right so the one thing to notice here in the four piece is that it's only the initial explosion damage of the bombs that is actually buffed so when you read this at first glance you might think oh holy shit it's gonna do so much damage with the, with the dot and everything but it's actually only the initial explosion damage that is uh, increased now this tier set obviously has a few key interactions with the survival hunter kit and the survival hunter talents as they are right now after playing around with the tier set for a while after um, thinking about it i basically have come to my conclusions on how it will affect the survival talents and it's pretty straightforward when it comes down to it because it's all just in the tier set bonus right we have free bombs from the two piece that means you have a chance for back-to-back -back bombs then we also have increased bomb damage and we also have the whole tier piece or the whole tier set relying on kill command to even function right so we have three things we have free bombs we have bomb damage and we have reliance on kill command now all of these three points are actually hugely detrimental to the uh, Nessingware trapping apparatus mongoose bite current si single target survival build right it doesn't work whatsoever with the tier set because kill command is not really used in the trapping apparatus build i mean obviously it's used but it's greatly greatly uh, lowered in priority because you will not gain a lot of focus from there in terms of your overall focus gain and now suddenly with this tier set you are really really heavily reliant on actually pressing kill command all the time right in fact you will soon see that you will actually press kill command a lot more than you probably should with this tier set so this doesn't really work with the current single target build which makes survival hunters a little bit sad in a little bit of a weird state here because either you stick to the 9.1 build and you just go full mongoose bite with the trapping apparatus build and you just ignore the tier set more or less and just uh, use it whenever it procs you still have 30 percent increased bomb damage or whatever or you will actually end up gaining dps from swapping to the aoe talent build and playing that in single target because as I said before, we have free bombs, we have increased explosion damage, and we have kill command reliance. Well, guess what? Free bombs, it really, really synergizes with wildfire infusion. Because if you get a back-to-back -back bomb, you have to use them back-to-back. -back. Then if you don't have wildfire infusion, the dot will actually overlap from the bombs, which will negate a lot of the damage. If you have wildfire infusion, however, not only does the dot no longer overlap, so you can use a bomb and then another bomb and the dots will actually be two separate entities on the target, but you will also gain a lot of value from refreshing serpent stings with the green bomb, for example, or just pheromone bombs or whatever it can be. More bombs means more value for wildfire infusion. Now, increased explosion damage on the bombs will obviously favor guerrilla tactics, the talents in the second row, and also wildfire infusion. And 
the fact that the whole build, the whole tier set relies so heavily on kill command that will actually favor the alpha predator and bloodseeker talents hugely as well. So suddenly we have swapped from a mongoose bite build to a full AOE survival build with wildfire infusion. And you will also see that because you will spend so much more globals on kill command now, and because you will have those extra globals uh, mixed in when you get free bombs, you will actually be very, very global starved compared to before. So tip of the spear, the talent that was um, before mainly used in Mythic Plus, I mean, it's still pretty good in single target, but even so, it's going to be way, way, way better in single target in 9.2 as well, because uh, you're not spending as many globals actually raptor striking or mongoose biting. You're spending most of the globals kill commanding, which is going to stack up your tip of the spear buff. So the whole build just screams, or the whole tier set rather, just screams a we build survival hunter for single target. At least if Blizzard doesn't nerf it somehow, or if uh, by some weird metric the single target mongoose bite build is still somehow ahead, even if you ignore the whole tier set, which would be really weird. So, I predict for us to play one universal talent build for 9.2 survival, we will pr pretty much use these talents in both AoE and single target with the tier set. One last thing to mention here, related to talent somewhat, is that the whole tier set is so, so, so reliant on the bombs, right? And bombs, they don't cost focus, which means they're not affected by mastery, which means that suddenly, we go from this 9.1 situation where mastery is giga dead in AoE, but it's at least pretty good in single target because this main single target damage comes from Mongoose Bite, which is uh, a spender, right? So mastery is still decent single target right now, but in 9.2, because this build is gonna swap our whole talent build around, it's gonna favor bombs so much more, and bombs does not get affected by mastery, it's actually gonna push mastery even lower as well on single target. So, in 9.2, mastery is going to be giga in an AoE, it's going to be giga on single target, and uh, the Mongoose fight is also going to be probably pretty dead on single target, sadly. So whether you like this or not, whether you think that it's a good thing that we get Wildfire Infusion, Tip of the Spear, and uh, Alpha Predator and stuff on single target, or if you're going to maybe miss the old Mongoose fight build, let me know in the comments down below, guys. So, when it comes to the single target rotation impact of this tier set, it is actually quite a bit more nuanced than I first thought. So, ironically enough, while this tier set might end up being really mediocre in terms of numbers on single target for a variety of reasons, right? First of all, you're replacing a better single target talent build with the worst single target talent build, and you're also losing, for example, the 9.1 shard of domination and all of that stuff. So considering every other class in the game also gains a tier set while you're gaining a pretty a mediocre single target tier set while also um, downgrading your talent build it might end up being a pretty bad tier once again sadly for survival hunters single target but in terms of rotational impact in terms of how much fun you're gonna have it's a different story so we can take a look at that right now first of all the tier set actually introduces a certain skill cap to the single target rotation. And if you watched the last section when I talked about the talents, you know that the AOE build isn't really that um, nuanced on single target. It's pretty, pretty damn straightforward. And frankly, you're going to get bored of it if you play it on single target for any extended amounts of time. So this tier set is desperately needed in order to keep that AOE build actually playable on single target. The first thing that you're going to want to keep in mind is to always have one bomb available because think about it, if you proc with kill command the tier set, then you will obviously want to use that bomb pretty much as soon as possible. Now there are a few exceptions to this obviously, but um, you do want to use that bomb ASAP in order to use kill command again in order to proc a new bomb, right? Because the proc has no internal cooldown, you can just proc this back to back to back to back to back if you want to. That means that not having a bomb available when you proc this tier set means a pretty nasty situation because then you will have to wait for however long it comes for your bomb to come back again and then you can use the proc which means in all that time you can reproc the bomb however many times whenever you use kill command which is really really bad it's a huge dps loss right and the bomb cooldown on single target is actually pretty long as well so it is pretty punishing to accidentally use a bomb now, this does um, introduce a certain skill cap, however, because 
you also have to keep in mind, for example, refreshing serpent stings with the green bomb, the pheromone bomb impact on all of this, with uh, guarantee resets on kill command, and stuff like that. So there is a skill cap here, but in reality, you also got to keep in mind that Survival Hunter was already pretty much overflowing with focus and uh, globals to pump out before this, and now you have an even higher priority on your main generator, which is kill command, and you also have more globals to spend on bombs which means that you're actually gonna have even more focus you're gonna have even more resources you're gonna be over generating a lot and that essentially also means that you will have a lot less uh, punishing mistakes to do because even if you throw out the bomb or you press the wrong global or anything you're gonna have plenty of resources plenty of focus plenty of kill command stacks plenty of tip of the spear charges or whatever to actually still do some decent damage in that downtime so take that with a grain of salt, but still, there is some skill cap here. And there is also some improvisation, because obviously if you get a proc, you have to react to it, um, which was already present somewhat in the Wildfire Infusion talent and in the uh, kill command resets and stuff like that, but realistically, there wasn't really any improvisation needed in this Survival Hunter AoE build. So the fact that we get a nice proc that actually does a good bit of damage that we can... Um, play around is in and of itself at least pretty nice. Now let's get to the bad parts of the single target rotation because first of all this thing that we're talking about here is a proc that triggers off of a proc right so it can get very 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 nasty with the RNG. You have a 25% baseline chance for kill command to reset and that is the proc that uh, this 40% tier set proc is actually proccing off which means that you have a 40% chance on top of a 25% chance. That is not very good odds. 1 in 10 kill commands will actually proc this thing. But it gets better because you can actually control the kill command resets to a certain extent. You have the pheromone bomb. You have the coordinated assault, right? Even so, the fact remains that you will have these very, very, very high upsides where uh, you can get kill command proc after kill command proc after kill command proc and all of those procs will in turn generate a tier set proc which means that you will just be overflowing in bombs right you will um, th have to throw a bomb kill command throw a bomb kill command throw a bomb throw a bomb because your bomb has already come off cooldown as well and then you'll kill command again throw another bomb and it just spirals out of control right in those moments then guess what you're overflowing with focus it feels really bad to even spend on raptor strike or uh, especially serpent sting right raptor strike at least you'll have tip of the spear but spending on serpent sting when you could kill command in order to generate more bomb charges even when you're at 100 uh, focus it feels pretty weird so that isn't really that great either and on the flip side if you run into a situation where you generate no kill command resets whatsoever then you're not only hampered by the fact that you will suddenly have no focus, but you'll also get no procs, which further hampers your focus generation. So it definitely um, hurts the uptime a lot when this thing isn't procking. You can also see how this is a very, very bad situation if you end up playing too much into this and you wanna proc this thing. So you sit at 100 focus, and you pr uh, spam kill command even at 100 focus to generate these procs, right? If you do that, and then you suddenly run into a dry spell where you will get no kill command procs whatsoever, then you're sitting at 100 fury, or 100 focus, sorry, I don't know why I keep calling this thing fury, 100 focus, and you have no kill command procs, you might have no bombs, and all you have to do is Raptor Strike, right? And you could have actually prevented this by playing more um, conservatively earlier, right? You could have been Raptor Striking more instead of Kill Commanding at 100 focus. And that is really the uh, pitfall of this tier set, right? Because it encourages fishing for those procs, especially as we're going to get into soon on AoE. Don't even get me started on the AoE. But even on single target, especially in cooldowns, especially when fer pheromone bomb is there, right? If pheromone bomb is on the target and you're at 100 focus, your brain is thinking like, but what if I kill command and get a proc? But what if I kill command and get a proc, right? And you end up spending kill commands, even though you should probably raptor strike. That is pretty sad. Another problem with this tier set is that it essentially makes it a crime to use bombs when you're below two charges on the bomb, because as I said earlier, you need one bomb at all times available for the proc, so 
if you're using a bomb without the proc, but you only have one bomb available, guess what? You're gonna have zero bombs. So you do actually have to have two bombs in order to use an ordinary bomb, which can um, get pretty problematic when you need to refresh uh, Serpent Sting or when you need the Pheromone Bomb to generate, for example. So just a little uh, weird interaction there, but that might also play into the skill cap later, who knows. Okay, so let's get into the good stuff, guys. The AOE rotation, the impact on the gameplay here. So this is obviously where you'd expect this tier set to shine. And I am saying yes, it does shine, but also no, it does not shine here, sadly. And we'll get into exactly why. So first of all, in terms of numbers, it is good, obviously, right? We could all see that from the 80% increased bomb damage and um, yeah, the big crits here, especially in like uncapped AOE, it's going to be absolutely crazy. So yes, in terms of numbers, it is good. But in terms of rotational impact, it is actually incredibly detrimental, sadly. And I didn't see this coming. I don't know how I didn't see this coming. It was maybe pretty obvious in hindsight, but think about your AOE rotation on the Survival Hunter, guys. So you have more bombs, you have Carb uh, as an extra spender, and now you also have Kill Command, right? Because before you weren't really uh, that resource starved on AOE, right? You could Carb, Bomb, and then uh, Raptor Strike in between or Kill Command when you needed to. But now, since you're generating these procs with Kill Command, you're extremely extremely incentivized to kill command on AOE which just ruins the whole rotation spectacularly in my opinion sadly because while as before you had a nice mix of spending of generating and actually playing around that now you only have bomb carve and kill command because if you're not bombing if you're not carving then you always basically want to be kill commanding because if, if you're not kill commanding then you're not generating procs so obviously there's going to be some times where you just don't have a kill command up you don't have a carve up and you don't have a bomb up and that might happen but generally you always have at least kill command or carve or bomb up which means that your rotation basically looks like this especially with heavy haste you do a bomb right because you're two charges so you throw the bomb then you carve and then kill command and here normally you would obviously stop kill commanding after one kill command and you would have another global to serpent sting or to raptor strike or to do whatever you liked right or to second bomb even but now you don't have any incentive to actually spend that th that global on a serpent sting or raptor strike you just have an incredible incentive especially if you're in cooldowns or with pheromone bomb to spend it on kill command right because that reset on kill command is actually going to get you so much aoe damage it's actually nuts which means that in reality the rotation becomes bomb carve kill command until you get a proc once you get a proc you do bomb and then bomb again because you're going to have two bomb charges stored up if you get a proc by this point if you don't have a proc by this point you will just have to spend that uh, one bomb without the proc and um, carve again and repeat if you do get procs however this gets incredibly crazy because uh, remember you're gonna spend one extra global actually spending that extra bomb you're getting and that extra global spent makes it even harder to fit in raptor strikes or serpent stings in between your carves so essentially you're just doing carve and then you're doing kill commands in between those carves and whenever you have a bomb ready you use the bomb so essentially the rotation only consists of bomb carve kill command so all this stuff with extra globals here and there sounds really complicated what does it really mean for the aoe rotation well in reality on five target aoe when i tested for extended amounts of time i could count on one hand the number of globals that i got outside of those three spells that i just talked about so it's actually quite crazy how few globals you have to spend on anything else now in reality it might very well be that it is worth spending on raptor strike when you have three triple spear charges for example instead of pressing kill command again for the proc in that case uh, the rotation is gonna get a little bit better for sure but still this is some pretty wild stuff here going on with the survival hunter and maybe you're sitting at home right now salivating thinking beyond what the hell are you talking about this is survival hunter's wet dream i just get to bomb and carve that's all i want to do and in some ways you're right right this is survival hunter's wet dream in a way but the problem is it's so utterly brain dead and it's not reliable enough right if you could actually 
make sure to proc those bombs all the time, then it would be pretty fun. It would obviously lose some of its charm just by nature of proccing more often, but it would still be really nice to just pop off with those big bombs. The problem comes from the bombs not actually proccing that often. So you do get these huge upsides where you proc four back-to-back -back bombs, you do a fuck ton of AoE damage, and uh, everyone's gonna look at you and say, holy moly, what did you just do to that pack? And that's what we all are here for, obviously, so I'm not complaining about that. But that also means that for the majority of the time, you're probably going to see zero to a few procs, right? Which means that most of the time you're going to play a more boring rotation, a much worse rotation with only three spells, basically, in order to not really see any upside. Because you're just going to be frustrated when the procs don't come. And your friend over there is AOEing all he wants. And you're spamming kill command on, on five targets to, to try to generate procs that never comes, right? So, there is definitely some really bad stuff here as well. So, my takeaway here for the AOE is that it's probably going to be really good for damage. It might be pretty yikes for the rotation, depending on how it plays out. So, just keep that in mind. And my conclusions when looking at this then. Well, first of all, I personally think that Blizzard should make the bombs cost focus. And before you jump out of your share, like why would you make it cost focus? Why would you nerf survival, etc, etc, etc. First of all, making bombs cost focus would fix the mastery problem. The mastery is such a dead stat right now that um, I don't really know what to do with it. So making the bombs cost focus would at least get that stat some value and sure it might be broken so you might have to nerf the bomb damage a little bit or whatever i don't care just try to fix mastery you don't have to make the bombs cost a lot of energy or anything you can make them cost like five focus ten focus so the rotational impact isn't that big because frankly you will still be drowning in focus currently with the build i don't think a five or ten focus cost on the bombs would really matter that much so is there any way to change this tier set bonus well, it's probably too late now with 9.2 hitting soon and uh, the PTR cycle having largely been completed already. And um, I honestly don't really have any amazing ideas either. But one thing I thought of was maybe to move the uh, proc of the tier set from kill command resets to some other spell. Because having that proc on your uh, generator feels very strange. It doesn't really feel great to sit with full resources to spamming generators in order to um, generate procs so maybe move it to a spender i mean the obvious one would be raptor strike right and i think raptor strike could work fairly well because it will um, proc maybe more often in single target if you put it on raptor strike just a 40 percent increase or 40 percent chance to proc on raptor strike i think could be fine here it would make it a little bit better in single target make it, the spec feel a lot better in single target because now you're incentivized to pr press raptor strike you're actually incentivized to spend a lot of focus and in aoe it would obviously make it a little bit worse because you are not going to be able to raptor strike as much as you can kill command so uh, we might want to look into it there but at the same time i think it's really really nice to be incentivized to use raptor strike on aoe because you already have carve as a spender there and a serpent sting obviously if you want to keep that up so aoe is where the focus um, starvation can really come into play if you're playing the survival hunter poorly for example but right now with how the tears of bonus works that is just completely negated by the fact that you want to spam kill command in aoe right so you will never ever ever run out of focus in aoe in fact you will just largely sit at 100 focus in aoe and th that feels really bad it feels terrible to play the survival hunter that way you're just largely ignoring most of your spells and mostly just pressing bombs and carves so i would really like to see it move to to raptor strike personally i think it could be more fun to play in aoe and in single target but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i'd be really happy to hear from you what suggestions you have and i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next one bye bye huh oh you're still here well I'm sorry, I think you should uh, probably go and check out a video maybe over here or somewhere here. You can even subscribe down here, that would be really, really nice. I would highly appreciate that. Uh, I'm gonna sn go snort some more lines, see ya. <laughs> Sitting there salivating right now, you don't understand why I don't like this. You're saying, whale, this is survival hunt. Whale, you're saying whale.